<laughs> this look is weird. <laughs> but I think that if I go with it, it'll be worth it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Now for today's video, we are going to be trying a couple of new products. And I also received the new Caleidos uh, Club Nebula palette. So I'm really excited to do a makeup look with this palette today. This is the palette in collaboration with Angelica Nigvist. But I'm so excited about this palette because just take a moment to just appreciate the colors. <gasps> Do you see this? I'm feeling really inspired by these shades, especially this neon green shade. Like, the colors in this palette are calling my name. And also, this is not really my first impressions on this palette, just because I did create a makeup look using this palette yesterday for work. Caledos eyeshadows are really good, especially their shimmers. Their shimmers are so pretty, so dimensional, so shiny. But I will have to say like their matte eyeshadow, they're a little bit hard to work with. I did try to do a makeup look yesterday using like more of the neutral shades in the palette. And I will have to say it was a little bit hard to blend. So today I really want to test the limits of this palette and I really want to use a lot of colors. And I also have other products to try. So I've been binge watching Katie Junes on Instagram. She's an amazing makeup artist. And I saw she was <laughs> using both of these products and they looked amazing on her. So I bought the Tower Illuminating Bronzer and I also decided to buy the Makeup Forever multi-use like pencil. You can use this on the lips, on the eyes, on the brows. Uh, and this is in the shade Endless Cacao. And another thing I really wanted to buy because I don't use beauty blenders that often or like beauty sponges. So I decided to pick up the Morphe and Le Lisa Frank sponges. Look at this. This is so cute. This is so freaking cute. And like for $20, you have freaking five sponges. So yes, I really wanted to get those. So that's pretty much that for the products we're going to be trying today. So I'm going to stop talking now and we're going to start applying the makeup on the face. So I already moisturized my skin, but uh, I'm going to be starting with my eyes just because I know these eyeshadows have a lot of fallout. <laughs> so I don't really want to mess up my complexion makeup. So I'm going to be starting with my eyes. So I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and pop this on my eyelids. And also, by the way, do you like the new backdrop? It's a little bit wrinkly because I just received it, but uh, I really wanted to take a beige backdrop just because I felt like the black was too dark and the white was too light <laughs> so i feel like the beige backdrop is going to be perfect to really warm up the videos and make everything a little bit more aesthetic so let me know in the comments below if you like the beige backdrop better than the white and the black i think i like the beige way better <laughs> so i'm going to start by priming my eyes i'm going to prime all over my eye i have no idea what makeup look i want to do today so i'm really going to make sure to prime from the inner to my outer corners so first thing i want to do i think I'm going to start by going into the shade called Rock Hopper, uh, which is the really pretty, like almost purple gray shade. And I'm going to be taking that on a JH42 brush, just a small flat blender brush. So I'm just going to start by taking this shade and like sketch out where I want the eyeshadow to go. So I think I want to create like weird masses like in the crease under my eye i'm not really sure so i'm just going to go for it so i'm going to put some in my inner corner right here and i'm going to start and blend this into my crease just like that so i'm kind of creating a little circle and blending it out into the crease and i think yeah i'm also going to do the same on this outer corner I'm just going to remove the excess eyeshadow on the back of my hand. I'm just going to start and blend this out a little bit more. I think I like that. It's kind of like sci-fi weird, but I, I like that. <laughs> Next, I think I want to add a little bit more light to this look. So I'm going to go ahead and take an even smaller uh, flat brush. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to go into the lime green shade. It's the shade called Gravity. And I think I'm going to create a line underneath 
the little like lines we created so i'm just going to go underneath that and i'm going to wing it out i'm just going to follow the shapes i think i need an even smaller brush so i'm going to take a morphe m250-1 detailed brush i'm going to use that instead so i'm finding myself having to really pack this shade on to have some payoff because I feel like this shade might be a little bit chalky. And I'm also going to line my lash line using this shade. So now that we have kind of that negative space in the center, I'm just going to blend the green shade going into the center of the lid, kind of creating a halo eye. So I'm just going to blend this shade going towards the center of the eye. And I think I really want to deepen the blue-gray parts. So I'm going to go into the shade called Void using the same small brush. And I'm just going to go over the gray-blue parts just to make them a little bit deeper. All right, so I decided to go ahead and do the other eye. This look is weird. <laughs> but I think that if I go with it, it'll be worth it. <laughs> And actually so far, I'm kind of impressed with these eyeshadows. They are very pigmented. The only thing is that generally with the Kaleidos eyeshadows, like the matte eyeshadows, they're really hard to blend. And right now I have a lot of like payoff, not as much blending. So I'm kind of curious to see like on a more wearable type of makeup look if I would be able to blend these eyeshadows out. But like so far from this look, Everything looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with everything. Next, I think I'm gonna give a little bit more dimension to this makeup look. So I think I'm going to go into the shade called Firefly, which is the really pretty like lime shimmery shade. So I'm just going to take that on my lid and I'm going to do very small, ooh. I'm just going to do very small tapping motions. And I'm really going to keep that in the center. Oh, that's really intense, oh my god. And this shade is so interesting because it has a little bit of like a pink shift. This shade is so beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to start working on my complexion and then we'll go back to the eyes. So to prime my skin, I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty Primer. I've been really enjoying this primer. I've been using this primer in my past few videos and I do really like it. It really makes my complexion a lot more radiant. So I'm just going to plop this all over my face. Today I do want a very natural dewy skin so i'm just going to rub this all over my face so next i'm going to try the tower 28 uh illuminating bronzer i'm so excited to try this i never tried tower 28 products before and like the branding of this brand is beautiful like everything they do is like so interesting to me so it looks like this the pa oh my god the packaging do you see the packaging on this oh my freaking god this is beautiful so it's a very thick almost like kind of waxy formula the color is like a really pretty bronze kind of shade okay i'm curious to see how this is going to apply on the face so i'm going to go ahead and pick up some of that product on a duo fiber brush and i'm just going to very lightly pack this on the hollows of my cheeks Hmm. This color is really pretty. It might be a little bit too dark for me or a little bit too orange. I'm going to put some on my forehead. There is a lot of shine to this bronzer. Okay, yes, I think I really like this bronzer. This is really beautiful actually and it's blending really nicely. And the shine that it gives is really subtle, like it's really natural. I feel like for summer, this is going to be my go-to bronzer. It's really pretty. All right, so next, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wet one of the sponges and we're going to put on the concealer. All right, I'm back and this really expanded. This became a very big, you can see the difference. I have never tried Morphe sponges yet, uh, but this 
is a very bouncy, very fluffy kind of sponge and it did expand quite a bit, right? And then I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 130N. I'm really curious to like use this with a beauty blender. I've been only using this concealer with a brush since I got it and I love the finish of this concealer with a brush and so I feel like with the sponge it's going to be even more flawless. So I'm just going to place this concealer on the high points of my face. But I'm halfway into this concealer just to tell you how much I, I like this. All right, so I'm just going to blend this concealer in. This sponge is a little bit too big for my under eye. <laughs> I think it's a little bit too huge. I think I will prefer one of the smaller blender. But so far, I do really like this sponge. It's not taking too much product. So I do like the finish that this sponge is giving me, but I definitely like the finish that this sponge is giving me. It's a lot more natural. I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of the bronzer just because I feel like I'm looking a little bit too pale now that I applied the concealer. So I'm just going to reapply a little bit. So I do prefer the application of the bronzer with the brush, but I think I prefer the application of the concealer with the sponge just because my skin right now is like very flawless. It looks so natural, but very well covered. For my blush, I'm going to go ahead and use my Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. This palette is disgusting. I've been using this palette so often. This one, this is like one of the first expensive product I ever bought. It was on sale on the Sephora website and these blush and highlights are just beautiful. So today I think I want to go ahead and use the cream blush from this palette. I'm going to pick it up on the sponge and I'm going to apply the blush with the sponge just to see how it's going to apply. So I'm just so I just applied a little bit on the back of the sponge and I'm just going to be very light-handed at first. I just want to see what kind of pigment I can get. Ooh, that's really pretty actually. Wow. I know that I really love the blush from this palette, but like with the sponge, everything looks a lot more flawless. For my highlight, I think I definitely need to use a Kaleidos highlight for, for this video. So I'm going to go into the shade called Solar Sailor, which is a really pretty like yellow golden shade. I think it's going to be really flattering with like the shimmer we have on our lids. I'm going to grab that with a very like small precise highlight brush. I really want to be super precise with this highlight. And I'm really just going to target the very high points of my cheeks. Oh yeah, that highlight is really pretty. Just because I think I went a little bit overboard, I'm just going to go over that with a brush with nothing on it, just to blend this out a little bit. All right, and then I just want to take a little bit of my Milk Translucent Powder. I'm going to take that on a very small fluffy brush and I'm going to use that powder just to set some areas of my face where I want to reduce texture and shine. So for example, around my nose, right here on my chin because I do have a lot of texture there. All right, so I'm kind of obsessed with my complexion right now and the more I'm wearing this eye look, the more I really like it. Next, I'm just going to fill in my brows really quickly. I've been liking using this product right here from Benefit. This is the Cat Brow Brow Pomade in the shade number three. I really like this product just because it makes my brows a little bit more deep, more intense. And after, I'm going to go ahead and use the 24 hour brow setter just to fluff my brows up. For my lips, I'm going to be trying the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao. So I'm so excited to try this because I've been hearing nothing but great things about this pencil. You can use this in your brows, you can use this on the lips, you can use this on the eyes. Ooh, is it the shade? Is it the It's a really brown shade. So I wasn't expecting it to be that deep. I feel like for my brows, this color is actually perfect. <laughs> but today I really want to use this on the lips, so I'm just going to line my lips. So first impressions, this is really creamy. It glides on the lips, it's really pretty. And I think I do really like this shade. 
So I think in the very center of my lips, I'm going to be using the Cossas lipstick in the shade Rose Water. I'm really going to place this in the very center. I'm going to be using the Milk Mascara, the Milk Kush Mascara. I've been really liking this mascara. I've been using it non-stop. I think I want to take the neon green liner and apply it on my lower lash line. So I'm going to take another small precise brush. I'm going to go into that lime green shade and I'm just going to like fill in where I left an empty space between the blue and my lash line. So I'm just going to create a line going from the outer corner to my inner corner. So there's something wrong with this look. I just can't put my finger on it. Uh, so I'm just going to go back into that blue shade, that deep blue shade with a precise brush. And I'm just going to place a line underneath the green one we just applied. Next, I'm just going to take a white liner and I'm going to place this in my waterline. And here we have it. So this is the finished look. I think I really like it. I feel like the line underneath the inner corner, it really tied the, the whole look together. I'm going to sum everything up. So I will have to say I am really liking this palette. I love the colors in this palette. The colors are so beautiful. I feel like this palette will be perfect for everyday looks as well as more colorful editorial makeup looks. And the shimmers in this palette are so beautiful. And also what I really enjoy is that like both of the Kaleidos like big palettes, the Escape Pod and the Club Nebula, like the shades are really different from one another. Oh my God, you don't look at my mess. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you really don't want to see what's on my counter. Like it's, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> but what I really like is that like from the Escape Pod to the Club Nebula palette, all the shades are very different from one another. So if you do really like Kaleidos uh, eyeshadows formula and you already have the Escape Pod, but you're thinking about getting the Club Nebula palette, like the colors are very different from one another. So you can definitely get the Club Nebula palette if you want. I will have to play with this a little bit more just for more wearable makeup looks, just because the one time I tried to do a wearable makeup look to go to work, it wasn't really blending well i really had to struggle and then i just removed everything just because it wasn't really working the way i wanted but overall i'm always super impressed with the shimmers from the kaleidos eyeshadows uh, the shimmers are beautiful they're so shifty they're really high quality kaleidos makeup is so beautiful it's so aesthetic and the quality is quite nice as well but yeah so that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope you liked it i really hope you enjoyed Enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. You can also subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every single Mondays. So subscribe so that you don't miss any of the Makeup Mondays. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.